So a quick early morning view of the front of the house. You can see the two sides of two entrances as it was originally. Uh, when it was split into two halves, like a semi-detached house, but it was one family living in it. So the older generation on one side and the younger generation on the other. And the doors on the far right and far left were then the animal stalls where cows and then latterly horses were kept. Um, and the roof, the original roof, had no uh, dormer windows. We were lucky to get permission to put them in, so-called shed dormers, which fitted with the period of the house. And right beside that then, the original barn uh, on the left side, uh, which was originally small in the 20s, it was extended. In the 30s, I think it was extended again and made higher. And in 1960, that lean-to structure, uh, which is also a stall, uh, was built an older barn with a similar style to the old one was knocked down and, uh, and this newer uh, stall built <coughs> and the edge of the property then faces onto a stream which is quite overgrown now and then we've got some guests in our field the neighbors horses which is useful for keeping the grass down because it's quite a large piece of land that we've got well garden wise it's large and um, yeah I just don't have time to be cutting the grass every few weeks so yeah that's that side and yeah the stalls are a little bit ugly and uh, that's the rather sad remains of a large pear tree that we used to have and we knocked it down to make room for, for uh, some heating systems that we never actually put in but um, as you can see the branches were all hollow so I'm not sure how long it would have lasted anyway. That's that side of the house, we'll take a little trip around the back now.